like minute by minute. And it makes me so appreciative for the way that she raised us kids. And anyway, all of that set aside, patience has been my hardest thing and I'm getting all teary eyed now. You had it this morning. <laughs> Haircuts. Yeah, you can go get a haircut with Papa. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna look so sharp for Christmas. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's like a gingerbread and and white. We did. We made a gingerbread house last and night. And I read. And Papa read. And Abby read. That's not true. I <laughs> won, boy. I read. Well, we didn't have official judges for our gingerbread competition, I but it was. Judge. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I thought because it's so cold today, it would be the perfect day. Austin and Gideon are headed out to get a haircut before Christmas, aren't you? Are you is it going to be shorter or long? You gonna leave it long on top, or are you gonna get short? Short, short. short. Uh, you look really nice with it short. I thought with them being gone for the morning, and Evie and I just being here, it would be the perfect day to do a Q and A. Okay, get ready with us. So the first question was, how has this pregnancy been compared to the others, and do I have I had morning sickness, and Austin would say, which he probably remembers a lot better than I do. He said that this one was like my worst morning sickness, but I also think I was just more tired. Yeah, you can play with that. I think I was more tired with my, this pregnancy than I have been with other pregnancies in the first trimester. Going into second trimester, I think I felt better this time around than I ever have. Evie, somebody had a question for you. They wanna know, what is your favorite thing to do? Um, cookies. Make cookies? That is fun. When are we gonna make cookies? For Papa. For Papa, but when are we gonna make them? Uh, On, say, Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Somebody asked, what is my skincare routine? <laughs> um, I am not one to be very faithful with my skincare routine, but when I do it, I have used Dime in the past. Um, I really love Dime. It is the the whole set is. I can tell my skin does a lot better when I do keep up with it. But most of the time, I just use my facial brush in the shower, and then I use like an exfoliator, and then I use lotion. Evie, what are some boy baby boy names that we have? Ah, uh, they go. What, what do you think we need to name our baby brother? Brian. Bro, uh, brother? Yeah, Brian. Okay, that's a good name. You want to call him brother? Um, the next question was, what are name ideas for this baby? I have not taken the time to look at, I don't know if I've looked at any names like, at all. Just to give you guys a little sneak peek, we are definitely using James either as the first name or the middle name. I think we were probably gonna use as the middle name. Um, Austin's papa passed away a few years ago. Oh, I got and brothers. he told him before he passed that our next boy would have James in it. We agreed that we would do that. And so, that is what our plan is for this boy. So we're gonna have James mixed in there somewhere. We, um, his name was Edwin James Forsyth, which we thought about just using his whole name and honoring him in that way, um, but we're definitely using James. Are you excited to meet your baby brother? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do when he gets here? Rock a bye. Rock a bye? What else are you gonna do? I read a book. Read him a book? Oh my goodness, you're gonna be such a big sister. You want waffles for breakfast? Okay, let's go get some breakfast. The next question is, what is your favorite thing about your kids' ages? Um, baby boy. How old are you? Two. You are two. And Gideon's four and a half. I love it. They, um, I think they're either best friends or they're dire enemies right now. But they're both at the age where they can communicate what they need, what they love. They both get so excited just about the simplest things in life. Um... <sighs> And they're both pretty independent is what I, I love that they can play by themselves or they can 
like always when it's there. She's super clingy right now, which is not always easy being pregnant, but it is really sweet because I'm like, this is my last few months with her. It's just being her and me um, without another baby. And so it's hot. It is hot. Here we go. Woo, hot. Next question no, is what's your go to syrup. coffee order? I want syrup. I want syrup. You want syrup? Okay, go get it. Get it out of the fridge. It's on the bottom shelf. Okay, um, my go to coffee order right now is, and yes, I drink coffee when I'm pregnant, either an iced caramel macchiato, which has been my order for years, or from uh, Seven Group. It's a local coffee. Well, I say local. They're kind of expanding across the whole country. Um, but Seven Brew has a blended blondie. It's like a kind of like a frappuccino ish, but it's so good. And so I'll get that when I don't get the iced coffee. Okay. Here, I'm gonna cut it up for you. Somebody wants to know what's your favorite color? Oh, uh, red. Mm hmm. It's red. You like red? I like red too. My favorite color is orange though. My favorite is red. Okay. And then the next question was what are our plans for Christmas? Uh, my favorite is orange. <laughs> so we're gonna go to a friend's house for a happy birthday Jesus party and then Christmas Eve we always spend with Austin's family. Yeah, happy party. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. And then Christmas Eve we always spend it with Austin's family. Um, this year I think we're gonna stay the night out there. Um, after the, the happy birthday Jesus party we're gonna go out to his parents, wake up there Christmas Eve. Um, we make like a charcuterie board to snack on all day long. And then in the evening, we open up presents and we make our special one time a year no bake cookies. Um, and then we just spend time as a family. I think we're gonna sing music and um, just have a lot of fun. So that's our plans for Christmas Eve. And then Christmas, uh, we're gonna come home that evening and spend Christmas day here. Um, and we're planning on- No, you fork, get how you pay I don't have princesses on my fork. And then Christmas day, we're gonna come back here. Our tradition is to stay, sleep, uh, bring our bed out to the living room Christmas Eve and sleep under the Christmas tree and the kids bring out their beds to the living room as well. So we're planning on doing that this year. Can Wake up Christmas morning, make, uh, open up our stocking and then make Christmas cookies and then open up presents that evening. So that's kind of our plans this year. It's gonna be fun. Mommy. We're excited. He's a mess. Mm -hmm. He again make a mess of money. Somebody wants to know, are you out of diapers? Do you wear diapers still? Yeah. You do wear diapers? Yeah. When are we going to potty train? To big potty. You want to go in the big potty? Yeah. Yeah. Well, our plan was to do it right after Eddie turned two, but then Austin and I went to Alaska and then life got busy and then we hit the holidays. And so my plan now is to potty train Mommy, I got. after the Mommy, new year. I got. Okay, you wanna go get some juice? Okay, go get some juice. Our plan is now to potty train af um, after New Year's, hopefully within the first couple weeks of Janu uh, January, but she's been ready for a while. I just, first trimester pregnancy, I was not ready. So that's where we're at. Somebody asked, do people still call you Joy Anna, like together? My mom still calls me that some, but not a lot of people call me Joy Anna unless they don't like, which I mean, I don't, I don't mind it, but like, unless they don't really know me, they'll call me Joy Anna, or if they knew me like back in the day when that's all I was called. But fun fact, my name is not, my mom always liked it together. And so that's what she called me. But my name is actually, like, that's my first and middle name. It's not, like, one name put together. I need juice. You don't need juice? I need water. Okay, go get some water then. But I don't mind either way. I don't mind Joy or Joyanna. The next question was, do y'all plan on putting your kids in any sports? Austin played t-ball as a kid, and so we talked about putting Gideon in t-ball just because it would be so cute and it'd be a good way for him to get his energy out. But we haven't decided on if we're going to do, like, actual sports or not. They do swim class right now, which is not really like a sport, but it's more of like a good skill for them to learn. And they do that once a week. So right now, I don't think we're gonna change anything, especially with a new baby coming, but 
maybe next year we'll revisit the idea um, and see, because I think that would be so fun for them. Do you have any anxiety from going from two to three kids? Um, I don't think I do. I haven't really actually thought about it. I just thought about it the other day. I'm like, wow, we're gonna have three kids. But honestly, Gideon's gonna be five, and Evelyn's gonna be almost three. And I'm more excited than anything, I think, um, because this is something that we were really praying we would get pregnant and we've been trying and stuff. Like I, the transition isn't making me nervous at all. And I think the kids are both really excited about having a sibling. And of course there's gonna be challenges um, with that, but I'm really excited. The next question is, what is your best advice for moms? And I don't feel like I'm one that could give this advice because I'm still in the middle of it and figuring it out. Patience has been the hardest thing for me. And I think maybe because my mom, like I literally never saw my mom get upset. And I say like upset, like yelling, angry. And so with that, like I was like, oh, this is gonna be great, like parenting, but <laughs> that I have to realize like that is a choice that my mom had to make daily, like minute by minute. And it makes me so appreciative for the way that she raised us kids. And anyway, all of that set aside, patience has been my hardest thing and I'm getting all teary eyed now. Um, patience has been my hardest thing with Gideon and Evelyn, just realizing that, you know what? It's okay if they, you know, make a mess, as long as I can help them clean it up and um, teach them responsibility or whatever. I think just not being a perfectionist about my house either. Um, things don't always have to look perfect and they don't always have to be put together because that's the stage that I'm in. And if I'm always like so stressed about everything being in its place, then I'm not gonna enjoy the season that my kids are in. And so those are a couple things that I've learned. Also just being willing to take advice from other moms that are older than me or that have grandkids or have older teens or um, that's been something that has been super helpful for me. Also, having mom friends has been one of the best things I could have done for my stage in motherhood where I'm at right now. And if you don't have mom friends, <laughs> you can probably look up online like mom groups. Um, I think there's a thing called mops where you can get together like weekly. But in the last year and a half, two years, I have had a solid group of moms that I can get together with pretty much on a weekly basis or every other week. It's just living life together, learning things, talking about our struggles, and not in like, I think there's a balance of not complaining, but also just being like, hey, I'm struggling with this. Like, is this something that you struggle with? Or what did you do with this with your kids? And so that for me has been the best thing that I've done in the last couple years of just being open, having friends, because sometimes I am I am an introvert extrovert, and so I can be home for a amount like amount of time. But then there's times where I'm like, I just need somebody to talk to, and I need somebody for my kids to play with. And so having that group of friends has been the best thing for me. And just they challenge me, they encourage me, they love me, they let me just ball like a baby when I need to. And so anyway, that's some of my best advice. But as far as parenting advice itself. Go find you an older mom that you admire and ask her because I'm not one to ask. I'm still going through it. Okay, this is my last question because Austin just got home. I hear he's here. Um, somebody wanted to know, I so I have a blood clotting mutation. It's called MTHFR and I have the higher risk side. So I have two copies of the higher risk side of it. Um, and so anyway, somebody was asking me, how did you find out that you had it? It's not something that the, the doctors normally run up on a full panel. Um, about a year and a half ago, I went to like a naturopathic doctor that specializes in thyroid stuff because I thought I was struggling with thyroid stuff, which find out I was. She did a full panel of like everything. She did my thyroid, my hormones, my vitamins, my minerals, blood clotting stuff. And so when I got all the results back from that is when I found out, oh, I am positive for MTHFR. 
And so then when I got pregnant, I let my doctor know and that's why he started me on shots because I did have a late term pregnancy loss with Annabelle. And so with that, it's not something that they normally, with MTHFR, they wouldn't normally put people on shots, but because I have had a passive pregnancy loss, they went ahead and put me on shots. So there's that answer in one. I'm so thankful that I found out that that's what I had. It's not like an answer as to maybe that's what happened with Annabelle, but it definitely gives me an idea of maybe what could have happened because up until then, we didn't have any answers. Evie? He says, see you later. See ya. Okay, I'll answer the last question because somebody asked, what are we cooking for Christmas? The answer is, I don't know. <laughs> I was supposed to go out today and do some shopping because we're gonna make a meal before Christmas Eve and then for Christmas Eve, but it's snowing like crazy outside, so we'll see, I might, I might still get that done today. But with that being said, I have not even thought about what we're cooking for our own Christmas. We're probably not gonna do a traditional like big Christmas meal. Maybe just pizza, pizza actually sounds great and it's easy and we'll probably do that in like a snack, like a charcuterie board or something for our Christmas day here. So I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. I am so excited about Christmas. I feel like it's taken me a while to get in the Christmas spirit just because of the busyness. Don't let the busyness push you away from enjoying Christmas. Right, Evie? Yeah. Say right. Oh my right. gracious, girl. You and your boogers. There we go. Okay, say see y'all later. See y'all later. Thanks for watching. See you <laughs> Bye guys, Merry Christmas.